Okay, so let's find a way to introduce our brake pressure tank just to make sure that we reduce at this pressure to at least three bars, at least one bar to three bar, okay, of water pressure. So from here, you can see around this area here, we are having like 83. We're having 83. So let's introduce here a brake pressure tank, brake pressure tank in this uh, region here okay so the elevation here is uh 1310 and the, around this area what we are having here is uh, this uh, value here so let me introduce a uh, brake pressure tank so to introduce a brake pressure tank uh, what uh, what we need to do is to introduce here a node and a valve okay so let me show you how to do it so first i need to to remove uh, this this link so before i remove let me copy its value because if you don't record these values then if you close it then you are if you are delete it you're going to lose everything so let me let me introduce here another node another junction weather and again let me redraw let me redraw this uh, link here Okay, so this link, remember the length here was uh, 260 and again the diameter here was 60, was 50, or as a 50, and again the roughness here was a uh, 0.035 of course for plastic. And again, what we need to do is to introduce a valve here. Let me introduce a valve. Okay, so for this valve here, what I need to do what I need to do here is to let me double click here and select pressure reg regulating valve. So to model a brake pressure tank in Epanet, what uh, what uh, what you need to do is to use uh, this pressure reg regulating valve. I think yeah, pressure reg pressure regulating valve, and just to make sure that this pressure reg regulating valve takes pressure to zero down to zero. So we are we're going to set here zero. And again, so this zero here indicates the pressure that we want to set in this area. Okay, so for brake pressure tanks, what they do is to take pressure down to zero. In the same situation here, we can use uh, here uh, a pressure regulating valve and set here zero. Just the same values that we are having with our brake pressure tanks. So from here, let me select the fixed uh, status to none. Okay, if I put here open, it's not going to work. Let me select here none and close again the most important step here is to make sure that uh, elevation at j3 and elevation at this uh, junction here which is j13 is the same so let me so the value here is 1310 and again we need here to have 1310 okay 1310 so at this so this junction here and also this one they need to have uh, the same value Okay, so let me click run and see what we are having. I remember now we are having 1112. Let me see what we are having because we are having some issues. Okay, negative pressure, negative pressure, whatever. Let me uh, see what we can deal with, the, how we can deal with this. So the main issue here is a 12 is disconnected. Okay, so let me, um, let me see. Let me uh, take it to 63. I think this is what we are having. So this one, let me take it to a 50. Again, the same error. Okay, and again, this one. Uh, let me put it open and see what you're getting. Okay, so if I said open, it seems as though we don't have any issue. So if I put here to none okay just to activate this value i set here to none then we are having some issues okay so it seems we are having some issues with our valve so what we so what we need to do is to make sure that our valve is drawing in that direction of flow so from here to here and not from here to here okay so from here what you can do is either to right click and select reverse or if that is a long process you can even delete it and redraw again so let me 
throw it again remember from where our water is coming from so from j3 all the way to uh all the way to j13 okay and not from j13 to j3 because that's not gonna work and let me double click again and see what we are having so from here let me set uh the diameter okay so let me leave the the, the diameter the way it is remember we want to take a pressure down to zero because this is the is what our break pressure tank is going to do in the real world so we are going to set here zero which is which indicates the pressure and again the the, the status here we need to set it to none so if we set here to open that indicates that this value here is not is open so in a simple language it is open okay so if i set none this value here is going to work according to the values that i assigned in this uh, setting area so for now let me select none just to take pressure down to zero let me run so take a closer look here so initially okay so let me so now we are having this value which is 39 which is equivalent to three bar okay so if i click here again let me take uh, the diameter to 50 at least the same values at the same value as this pipe uh, p13 let me set here 50 okay let me click run so what if uh, this valve here so this valve well, we are not here so if i set here open you can see the pressure in this region you can see now the the pressure here is one one is one one two uh, which is 112 okay but as soon as i introduce uh, this uh, prv you can see or oh, pressure regulating valve you can see if i set here none okay so as i said if i set none i i'm going to command my uh, valve to operate under this pressure so let me select none again this is what we are having okay so it, you can see now i don't have 112 again 112 uh, as a pressure so for now i have almost three bar which is uh, 30 meters of water column so i'm going to do the same uh, thing in uh, this other uh, junctions here okay so in this area here what i need to do so now my valve here is done which is valve one everything now is okay in this area of course after introducing uh, this valve so what i need to do here again is to work on these areas here of course i can introduce a brake pressure tank around this area and also around this area but i think it is not going to be a good idea let me introduce a brake pressure tank around this area remember at j4 at j4 here we have uh, uh, this elevation and again at this area we are having this elevation so what so what we can do let me see so here we are having uh 12 uh, 3007 and again here we are having uh 1280 so if i introduce so in a simple language the difference the elevation difference between uh, this junction here and this ones it's like uh, 27 meters okay okay so let me introduce a brake pressure tank in this area again we need to do the same approach let me select this so for now let me delete this pipe okay let me delete this pipe and again i need to add another junction so you can put a junction here but it will be not a, uh, because of space let me introduce a young, another junction in this area okay so let me redraw my pipe in this uh, region okay and again let me select let me insert the value so here we have we had a 250 and again here the internal diameter of pipe was 50 so the diameter was 50 and here we had a value of a 0 0.035 okay and again remember from this point to this point i need to introduce another valve just to model the brake pressure tank behavior remember you are, you are going to draw from where our water starts all the way to where our water ends in in a simple way you need to draw your valve according to flow direction 
so let me introduce this one here and again let me double click let me double click it and let me give it diameter the same as this pipe then let me give it a 50 and again the settings here is zero let me put here zero and again status let me put here none just to command it to use uh, these values if you put here open uh, meaning that it's not even exist okay so for that case we, we also need to to make sure that elevation at j4 is the same as elevation at j j14 so the elevation here is this one and also we need to use the same value in this so 1307 so here is 1307 okay so now at least everything is okay let me run and see so for now we are having a 10 5 and here okay so 105 and here 118 and let's see after introduce here a big pressure tank what we are going to have in this um, end points here so let me click run okay so at least for now we are having these values okay so this one here is 20 and again this one here is uh, 33 okay so that is how we are dealing with uh, this uh, big pressure in uh, reload and also in a panel that is very important so we are going to use the same approach in this area so we need to find a good place to, in to introduce our brake pressure tank in this uh, branch here so as you can see the elevation at this point here is 12 13 12 actually 13 30 and uh, the lowest point here is around uh, 12 let's let's assume 12 30. so the difference the difference in elevation is 80 so if we put our brick pressure tank ar around this area here it's not going to have a big impact in this areas and what if, what if we select uh, this junction j5 at least so let let me see if i introduce in this area here what we are going to have so let me do a simple calculation to see the difference in elevation okay so in this area here we have 12 18 and the lowest points here we are having uh, 1250 so minus 1250 so if so according to this simple calculation so if we introduce here the uh, brake pressure tank around this area what we are going to have here is at least uh, 30 meters of water column okay 30 meters of water column so and this is what we have of course it can be less because of of head losses but at least this is what we are going to have remember i just take the elevation difference uh, in this point so the elevation difference between this point here and the lowest point and i get uh, 30. so previously uh, what i got so if i considered j2 and the lowest points here i got 80. so introducing a brake pressure tank around this area is not a good idea so i'm going to introduce a brake pressure tank around this area here around this area okay that is very important just to make sure that we are getting that uh, 30 meters of water column okay not about 30 meters of water columns okay so let me let me again the same approach let me delete this and let me introduce another uh, dummy junction of course you can just put here but because of space i'm going to introduce it somewhere here okay now what uh, what we need to do is to redraw our link or our pipe okay so from here to here and this uh, link had a value of uh, had a value of uh, 260 if i'm not missed 260 and again the internal diameter here was uh, was 50 and the roughness coefficient here was 0 0.35 0 0.035 and again we need to introduce a valve here valve here okay so let me introduce uh, our valve remember this valve here is pressure regulating valve okay because we don't have brake pressure tank in our in your in our ep8 but this value here will just uh, model the same uh, behavior of brake pressure tank in uh, EPA, in epanet so remember the intention of brake pressure tank is to put a pressure down to zero okay and this is what we are going to set here and again 
we need to put it uh, fix the status to none just to make sure that we are commanding our pressure re regulating valve to use at this value here so if i put here open it's not going to work so let me select here none and after that let me introduce here the the diameter so the diameter let me adapt this pipe diameter here which is 50 and again let me use here 50 okay so from that let me run my model remember for now we are having this value 138 and 142 let me see after introducing this uh, brake pressure tank what is the values we are going to have in this j7 and j8 of course we are having some issues let me see we are having some negative values after introducing this uh, valve here but um, okay okay so the mistake that i made here is is that the elevation at this point here is not the same as this one so i need to make sure that elevation at this j5 is the same as uh, elevation at j15 so let me take this value which is 1280 and introduce it in this area here which is 1280 so let me run so this is what you are going to get if you don't if you, if your values are not the same in these junctions So at least for now, we managed to take the pressure down to 26 and this uh, is 31. So it is around the areas that we, we want our pressure to be. Okay, remember pressure needs to be at, uh, 10, at 10 meters of water columns up to 30 meters of water columns. Again, just remember some other manuals, some other manuals they even recommend to have a uh, uh, 5 meters of water columns. Okay, so just to keep things simple, I'll just adapt 10 meters to 30 meters of water column. And this is what we're having. Okay, so at least for now, after introduce a brake pressure tank in our EP, in our Epanet, now we manage to take a pressure to reduce the pressure to a pressure which is required in these areas here. Okay, so it was, it will, so if I take, if I, keep here on open so i fix this status to open as you can see this is the pressure that we're having so as soon as i introduce a brake pressure tank by setting the status here to none and put here the settings to zero uh, this is what we are going to get in these areas okay so that is it so for now uh, what we manage to achieve is that at least we are having a required pressure in these areas here okay in these areas so here is 26 31 this one is 20 33 not that bad this one is 29 okay so this is what we have so far okay let me go back and select a unit here losses again it is good as you can see here not that bad again for velocity again not it is okay even though we are having some issues in this link this one and this one but it's it is